All right, so let's talk about Aviatics and why we actually formed this, this company. So what is happening or has been happening for years now is that, you know, the center of gravity is actually changing. Center of gravity is changing from on-prem to public cloud, right? Three, four, five years ago, I used to see on-prem data centers with all the physical routers, switches, firewall, load balancer and whatnot. And then I started noticing that people were deploying some workload in the public cloud. And mainly those guys were the DevOps guys because they were fed up. Uh, they, were, they were not very happy with the on-prem pace of innovation, to be honest. Because uh, even I remember when I was in Cisco, uh, people used to complain that, uh, you know, getting a simple VLAN uh, is taking two weeks, three weeks. Uh, why is it so? Then the machine, the server were taking long. And then uh, yeah, VMware came in, they virtualized things, but it's still, uh, they were not getting all the benefits they were uh, looking for, right? So they started building applications in the public cloud. So things started moving into the public cloud slowly. Now this public cloud provider, they said, okay, we will, we will provide you these uh, these constructs these services uh, in the in the DevOps space in the in the database space software space and also in the networking and security space. So they give you these kind of a Lego pieces. They said, okay, this is a router. You take it, attach it to your um, to your subnet and then to the virtual machine or EC2 instance. Okay, this is the load balancer. It's there. You know, go consume it. Right. So that's how things started moving into the cloud more and more people moved into the cloud, services being uh, spun up and whatnot, right? Uh, and then people thought that this cloud is just an easy button. I'm gonna just press this button and you know, all the problems are solved. No, that's not the case because when you go into the cloud, when you start peeling the onion, then you realize that uh, there are a lot of challenges. There are a lot of limitations and problems. And these, all these networking constructs or services are like Lego pieces. You need to build them yourself. And there was no reference architecture. There, there was no uh, way to actually, uh, enterprise way I should say, to, to consume those services or build the network in the cloud, right? So yeah, so they moved their applications in the cloud, but that instead of reducing the complexity, they added some other tangents in the, in the complexity, right? And then obviously, um, when things are moving into the cloud, it takes time. So you still need connectivity to on-prem resources like data centers or branches and whatnot, right? So this is where Aviatrix saw this, this huge gap in terms of uh, building the network in the cloud. And then what we noticed that people were struggling in different phases. So if we want to put them in a very broad bucket, uh, the first challenge is the build challenge, right? So it's like, you know, you go into, into a big store, uh, into a Walmart or Ikea, and I don't know what popular stores are out there in Australia and in Asia Pack, but yeah, the idea is, is that you walk in and then you find these boxes and they say, okay, take this box and build it yourself. So you take it home, you read the instructions and then you try to build it. Hey, during this process, you can make mistakes um, and uh, yeah, or maybe you are lucky, you build it uh, nicely uh, first time, uh, but second time, uh, maybe not. Third time, it's a pain, right? So if, yeah, so you get the idea. So there, was, there were no best practices. So that was the build challenge. Then the operate. Operate is a long-term problem or challenge because you build something in a week or two weeks, but then you need to support it for a longer period of time right? Maybe two, three, four years, depending on um, your enterprise. So that's another problem because uh, these uh, pieces or these services, they have um, um, visibility problems. Uh, for example, AWS TGW, you cannot log into that, that service or that router and look at the routing table the way you want to look at them from, uh, from the enterprise perspective, right? Troubleshooting is another problem. There is no like ping or trace route or packet capture type things available in the cloud for you. Or if they are, they're very difficult to actually consume and use, right? Grow, how would you grow actually? Once you build something, it was built like a unicorn or a snowflake. Now you, know, you need to grow it and then there is no reference architecture. There is no, uh, there is no common 
com, com, uh, data plane or control plane, which you can use to grow your uh, your public cloud footprint. So yeah, so these are the huge challenges. So this is where Aviatrix is coming to rescue, right? So we are solving the problems in the build space. So this is where you will see we have the, the public cloud networking and security platform with our Aviatrix controller and gateway as the data plane. Um, and then it's providing or helping customers build their uh, architecture in the cloud, right? And the MCNA becomes very important because now we have given this reference architecture to the industry called MCNA, multi-cloud networking architecture that you can use to build your network in a cloud, in a single cloud, in a single region, or single cloud, multiple region, or multiple clouds, multiple region, doesn't matter. So it's a repeatable arch architecture that we have provided. We have also given you the, um, the, the tools and all the capabilities that you need to operate your cloud and networking and security infrastructure in the public cloud with all the data visibility and, and, uh, and tooling that you need, right? So that's where we are also helping a lot of customers. Grow, grow is extremely important. So you built something today, now you're about to grow. If you have followed our, our design principles, our MCNA architecture, you can easily extend because it's, it's just a copy paste. You used this architecture here, then you can always use it in another, another region or another cloud. And we have done it with the uh, with our platform and also where we need to partner, we do partner because we understand that there are other players who are doing uh, things, special things in different space. For example, in the operations, um, automation is extremely important. So we have Terraform support in our, uh, in our platform. We have support for Okta, Duo for, uh, uh, for those um, edit security, right? Dual factor authentication or uh, talking to the IDPs, the entity provider. And then um, logging is obviously provided by our, our platform, but if you want to ship those logs to other parties like Datadog or Simulogic, we have support for that. We support all the major cloud, Azure, AWS, Google, Oracle. You don't see Alibaba and IBM, but we do have support for, for those uh, cloud as well. Uh, and that's also available on our docs.aviatics.com. So yeah, so that those uh, public clouds are our partners. We work with them very closely. Security is extremely important, right? So in that space, we have partnered with the leading security providers like Checkpoint, Palo Alto, Fortinet. And then we have our services partners. Some of them are like, you know, you, you know them already, right? Like worldwide technology, global partners. So they are there to help you guys if you need some uh, help in terms of building or deploying and operating your cloud infrastructure. 